Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a software or a app name as iCam for PC. Basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you what is iCam for PC, what are its feature and function. Then we'll tell you that how you download and install this app on your PC and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. So let us start. What is iCam for PC? iCam for PC is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on PC. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. The main purpose of this app is that by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera, you can see the multiple channels at a time. You watch the recording of the cameras, you take the snapshot of the video, you control the PTZ camera, you save the live view of the camera, you can adjust the image parameter like color brightness etc. You take the backup of the recorded videos and many more. Now to download and install iCam for PC on Windows OS, we have to take the help of Android emulator called BlueStack. This app is not given for Windows OS, first we download BlueStack on Windows OS and then with the help of it we download and install iCam for PC in Windows OS. I make a separate video than how to install BlueStack on your PC. I give link in the description. You can watch the video if you don't know how to install BlueStack on your PC. Once after successful installation of BlueStack on your PC, you find this icon BlueStack 10 or BlueStack 5 on the desktop. Just double click the desktop icon. and click on the app player when you click on the app player this is the interface of the blue stack now click on the app player basically app player create an android environment so that you can run any android app on the play store so let tablet is starting now you will see the interface of that emulator here it is the interface of the emulator that's what you should do you should click on the system app and search for play store and here you would search for iCam Here you find iCam Plus and iCam 65 and here you find the iCam. The software is by Maxwell Wang. Just click on that. Install. When you click on install, it is totally automatic process. You don't need to click anywhere. For it start downloading on your system, then it start installing. Let the process to be finished. Then we'll tell you that how you configure the app. Now you should find when it, when, it, when it is completely installed, you should find the open option is enabled. Now one, one more thing I would like to discuss with you that once after successful installation, you find this icon on the desktop also, just double click this icon, your app open just like a software. So just click open. Now click allow. Now click allow. Again click allow. Here, just cancel it. Notification here. You, this is the interface of the app. The first thing you should do, you should add your device. Just click on the add device, and here you find the setup device, scan QR code, add 4G network. When you click on the scan QR code, you start scanning the QR code. QR code is the sticker stick on your camera. Just like that, when you click on the QR code, 
it will start scanning even you take from the album also if someone send you to code like this okay let's cancel it so in this way you can proceed now I, here you find the add for the device basically this is for sim based camera please insert the sim card and install the antenna then power on the device wait for the blue light to blink, blink and click next now click next when you click next it is again is asked for a QR code you can scan the QR code and your device become added successfully now the fi final option is setup device just click on that and if you hear the prompt in like uh, whether the device bl blue light is blinking if yes click on yes and here you should enter your Wi-Fi password by default Wi-Fi is connected because uh, in Android emulator it is already added so just you just click on the next now click on the configurations and if you searching for device once is the device is found for camera then it, it add device and camera comes live it will take a time so this is all about this video thank you thank you for watching thank you have a nice day